so today we are going to be uh, doing age determination with the help of x-rays which is an important topic in forensic medicine practicals and i personally find it very interesting because it's a sort of a game with numbers so what you basically have to know is a few numbers and then just play around with them so let's get started and make this task much more easy the first thing i want you to do is to remember uh, these two set of numbers you might find it strange weird but you have to do it just like you might be previously in past remembering remembering some of these phone numbers just like that you have to remember this it's one five three six nine one eleven five nine two five remember this is eleven and not one one so one five three six nine one eleven five nine two five the second set of numbers is one four fourteen a two two one four fourteen a two two so just memorize it maybe stop the video and memorize it with me or later after this video go on with them with the memorization and the next step is to learn the ossifications uh, so here we have all the ossification centers for the upper limb the lower limb and the pelvis in a nutshell which I have personally made a note for myself uh, from the essentials of FMT ready. Uh, I think you can go on and trust me and memorize them as, as I've shown that to you. The first thing is the upper limb. So in the upper limb, you can see uh, we have the humerus, the radius and the ulna. The humerus has the head, the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle. So the, the number which you just memorized was 153. So 1 stands for the appearance of the head of the humerus, 5 for its greater tubercle, 3 for its lesser tubercle. So 153. Then from the medial to the lateral side you go on from the medial epicondyle, the trochlea, the capitulum and the lateral epicondyle, 6, 9, 1, 11. Then you go for the upper end of the radius arna and the lower end of the radius arna. I remember it as RU, RU. So that is 5, 9, 2, 5. It's important that you remember the order that's from radius to ulna, radius to ulna, RU, RU, it's 5925. So once again, it's 153, 69111, RU, RU is 5925. So these are the ages at when, uh, at which these centers appear. Okay, so the hair of the humerus appears at one year of age, the medial epicondyle appears at six years of age, the lower end of the radius appears at two years of age. I hope that much is clear. Now, when do they fuse? So for the fusion, remember for the elbow, it is at the elbow. Okay, the elbow is important for fusion. Remember, at the elbow you start with 1617, go down, it becomes 1718, again return back is 1819. So start from this point, 1617, 1718, and back 1819. These are the ages at when all these centers which have appeared will fuse together what do me what do i mean by that example if this is uh, the humerus the simplified version okay and the head of the humerus has appeared so when does it appear yes at the first year of age the head has appeared the body is there the shaft is there but do you see a gap in between yes that means that they haven't yet fused with each other once you won't see any gap in between these example i just erase it from here and now i am going to connect them again so this is when they fuse and there will be no gap in between the two so these ages in uh, blue which i've written down are the ages when they fuse so you have to start the happy 16 17 17 18 and finally 18 19. now two more important numbers in the upper limb is when do these uh epiphysis one five three when do they fuse with each other so they fuse with each other at four to six years of age okay now let's come towards the lower limb uh, the lower limb again remember it as one four fourteen a two two if you remember the previous number i told you to memorize that was one four fourteen a two two so that's at the first year of age the head of the femur appears 
at 4 it is the greater trochanter and at 14 it is the lesser trochanter so remember greater comes before lesser 1 4 14 and then at birth we have the lower end of femur the upper end of tibia the upper end of uh, fibula all of them appear at birth so everything at the knee appears at birth and then the lower ends of the tibia and fibula both are at second year of age so that's very simple it's 1 4 14 at birth at birth at birth and back at the lower end it is 2 2 now if you remember in the previous one we said that we had to start from the elbow so we started from the elbow for fusion at 16 to 17 then 17 18 down and then coming up back at 18 19 in the lower limb you have to start at the ankle started the ankle so here is where you started from 16 to 17 go back above it's 17 18 for the uh, hip joint and at the knee at 18 19 very simple right now let's come towards the pelvis all right so for the pelvis we have to memorize uh, the appearance of the iliac crest the pubis the ischium the triradiate cartilage and the fusion of the ischio pubic rami so let's begin first comes the triradiate cartilage now tri sounds like 13 3 right so we can remember it that triradiate cartilage appears at 13 years of age then go clockwise clockwise when you go you reach the ilda crest then you come towards the pelvis and then you come towards the ischium so the after 13 comes 14 so ilda crest appears at 14 years of age then the pubis appears at 14 years of age again so there are two 14s and finally the ischium appears at 16 years of age so again triradiate cartilage is at 13 crest is at 14 pubis is at 14 and again the ischium is again at 16. now that was about the appearance then what about the fusion so when do they fuse they fuse at 20 to 21 years of age 20 years of age 20 to 21 years of age so it's mostly common so iliac pubis and ischium all are fusing at 20 to 21 years of age except for the triradiate cartilage which fuses at 15 years of age very very close to 13 and the ischio pubic rami fuses at 6 years of age so it's not that complicated it's easier to remember just take a look around one more once more and stick in your mind all right so now what we are left with is the carpal bones so the carpal bones to remind you once of their names and their order uh, we have this little uh, mnemonic which says she looks too pretty try to catch her and it's very important that you know the laterality before you memorize anything so this all goes from lateral to medial this is the first or the proximal row and this one is the distal row so the proximal row is she looks too pretty try to catch her there is nothing but scaphoid lunate triquitrum pisiform trapezium trapezoid capitate hamid so if you have to identify them in an x-ray from the lateral side to the medial side here comes the poid, lunate, triquitral, and a little tiny PC form. And again, from lateral to medium is trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamet. So for now, we have re revised the names. Let's come to their ossification centers. But remember, they don't appear in the same order. They don't appear in the same order as they are seen uh, in the X-ray. They appear in a different order. That is from capitate, then hamet, then triquitrum. Lunate, scaphoid, trapezoid, trapezium, and pisiform. For now, just see at the numbers. The numbers is the first one appears at 2 to 3 months of age, second one at 1 year of age. That means at 1 year of age, if you are looking at any x ray, you're going to see two bones. Isn't it? So at 1 year of age, you're going to see two bones. Then next comes triquitrum. It is at 3 years of age, then 4. 5 5 both appear around at 5 years of age trapezium at 6 years of age and finally take a leap and it appears at 11 to 12 years of age the last one to appear is pisiform now how do i remember i remember this order by chit list trumpy chit list 
Trumpy. C H T is for chit. L S T is for list. And Trump because I don't want to confuse trapezoid with trapezium. So Trumps Trump stands for trapezium. And P, chit list Trump P. Okay. So first of all, just go with this mnemonic, and then revise uh, these numbers. It's two to three months. One, three, four. Skip two in between. Now at three years of age, we, uh, the triquitrum appears. Four, five, five. We have two bones to appear, which is scaphoid as well as trapezoid, and then trapezium and pisiform. Okay, so I think we are almost done with the memorizing business. Let's quickly start with the examples. Example number one. Now, what is this X-ray we are seeing of? I think it looks like the knee. We have the lower end of the femur and the upper end of tibia and tibia, isn't it? Okay, so what do you see here? Do you see the lower end has appeared? Definitely it has appeared. So when does these things appear? I think this is 1414A22. That means this is which occurs at birth. So definitely the person is born and that's why we are seeing these bones have appeared. So these are at birth. Six, nine months of age have definitely have been completed. Now, do you see there is any gap between the shaft and these epiphyses? Is there any gap here? Uh, there is some sort of haziness which is denoting that these bones are in the process of fusion that means they are not completely fused neither there is a gap but they are in the process of fusion now when does the knee fuses for the lower limb we start with the ankle so that was for the ankle 16 17 then go up at the hip and then at the knee that means it is at 18 to 19 years of age right 16 17 17 18 18 19 so this fuses at 18 19 years of age that means that this x-ray is of a person who is of 18 to 19 years of age now back now let's come towards the next x-ray the next x-ray is that of the hip bone hip joint the hip joint we can see the head of the femur we can see both the trochanters that means all of them have appeared when do they appear yes they appear this one is at 1 the greater to counter at 4 and the lesser to counter at 14 1 4 14 that means he's definitely more than 14 years of age okay and then do you see any uh, gap in between these or here in between these places uh, between the shaft and the epiphysis I don't see any gap that means they have already fused again this is more than 17 years of age this person is more than 17 years of age so let's move to the next example all right so this is the example this is an x-ray of the wrist let's try to identify the carpal bones so from lateral to medial as you go this one is the scaphoid lunate triquitral and the little tiny pisiform trapezium trapezoid capitate and hamid that means all of them have appeared when does the last couple appear yes it appears at 11 to 12 years of age that means it is definitely more than 12 years of age now I forgot to tell you one thing in the previous uh, diagram you can see the base uh, this is the metacarpal of the thumb that is the first metacarpal here the first metacarpal the base fuses with the body at around 15 to 17 years of age okay the base fuses with the body at around 15 to 17 years of age so in this example you can see this is the base and this is the body of the metacarpal first metacarpal do you think it has fused i see a tiny bit of gap in between the two that means they haven't fused yet that means it is not 15 to 17 years yet 
that means it is less than 15 17 years of age less than 15 to 17 years of age that means this person is in the range of 12 to 15 years of age cool let's go for the next example uh, again this is an x-ray of the wrist it looks like a tiny baby's hand yeah it is a plump little hand with all the little little carpels and phalanges how many carpels do you see here we see three carpels that means only the first three carpels have appeared around uh, two to three years of age it could be because that's when the first second and third carpels appeared at around three to three years of age and then here we see the lower ends of the humerus and the sorry the lower end of the radius and the alda do you think they have fused already there is no gap now don't get tricked because there is no fusion because there is neither appearance of the epiphysis the epiphysis were supposed to be here they haven't even appeared yet when do the lower ends appear the lower ends appear at ru ru was 5 9 2 5 so that means this one should have been 2 at 2 years of age. This one should have been at 5 years of age. But they haven't yet appeared. That means this is definitely a child of less than 2 years of age. Child less than 2 years of age. Okay. What's our next example here? Okay, we have x-rays of the pelvis. What do you see here is the pelvis bone. This one is the pelvis. And this are the femur. Again, don't get tricked. There is no fusion here because you're not seeing the gap. You're not seeing the gap because the heads have not yet appeared. The head of the femur is supposed to appear like this. Right? But it's not yet appeared. That means... This is less than 1 years of age. If you remember 1, 4, 14, this is one less than 1 years of age. See, even the pubis has not fused with the ischium because they are supposed to fuse at 6 years of age. There is neither the appearance of the epiphysis for pubis and the epiphysis for ischium because they appear at, they appear at 14 years of age and 16 years of age and they haven't yet appeared. So this is less than 1 year. Alright, so we are coming towards this next x-ray, which is again of a pelvis. And what we can see here is the shaft of the femur. Okay, uh, the head of the femur this time it has appeared, right? The head has appeared and has the greater trochanter appeared yet? Do you think it has appeared yet? It has. If you see here a little haziness, this one. And this one, which has been marked as 1, this part. This is the hazy part is nothing but the greater trochanter. That means both the head and the greater trochanter is appeared, but we don't see any lesser trochanter. That means more than 1 years of age definitely, and more than 4 years of age again because we have appeared. Do you see them have to be fused with the shaft? No. We can see this gap here as well as here. So they haven't yet fused with the shaft. So when do they fuse with the shaft? They fuse at around uh, 17 to 18 years of age. So they're definitely not 17, less than 17. But this is far beyond in the range, less than 17. What else can we see here? Uh, the issue pubic remi here, if you see, the issue pubic remi is also showing a gap in between. That means it has not even fused. And that is before less than 6 years of age. Less than 6 years of age. So more than 4 but less than 6. What does that signify? That means it is 4 to 6 years of age. Okay. So we are done with the examples. I hope uh, it made some sense to you. Practice. Keep practicing. Keep learning.